Is there automated systems and or the ability to get some visualization and kind of graph mapping to prioritize the different layers in which you're going to have the most uh, the most success and or you have the largest risk footprint? Yeah, um, I would say not yet. Um, a lot of a lot of what we've done with trying to kind of create a a way to describe the samples and their similarity. That's that's been uh, very manual on, on trying to understand it. The great thing though is that if I analyze process injection, the threat of process injection to me is the same as the threat to process of process injection to you. So like I can give you my output, and it's going to be the exact same exact same problem. Now, implementing the solution might be slightly different, right? Because you may have uh, different systems, you may have different software that you've installed on those systems that are performing that are doing different things that might might cause those false positives that we talked about. Uh, 